This is the the wort is right here. I just mix it with hot water and then um, connected the system to the march pump right there. And uh, the march pump is actually putting uh, water back into the rims module. The rims module will uh, heat up the water if the temperature is not equal to 152 and then it will basically put the watt back in here. So the hot water is actually constantly passing through the grain bed, that's the whole concept of rims. Um, and uh, basically it will maintain the temperature at 152 for the entire one hour. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is uh, switch on the pump and then I'm going to switch on the rims module. Okay. So here you go, that's the pump, you can hear the pump just went on. Uh, the water is coming, I mean the water is coming back into the RIMS module and you can see the the RIMS module is not switched on yet so I'm gonna switch it on now you can see I can uh, switch it on so I just switched it on you can see the light is on right there hello guys so it's about uh, 10 minutes the mash is uh, recirculating right now and uh, the temperature of the mash tank is about 150 and uh, it's trying to bring up uh, like another 2 degrees up so once it is uh, 2 degrees up it's going to constantly recirculate the mash so meanwhile what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up the hot liquor tank back with water uh, another 4 gallons of water because I need that for uh, the sparge process That's about four gallons. So what I'm gonna do is uh, close the lid back up. Let's see the temperature grow and uh, switch the mode to the hot liquor tank and switch this down. Right now it's at 160. So what I'm gonna do is uh, set my temperature to 170. Like that and uh, let this guy run for another like 45 minutes. Meanwhile, the mash is happening, and uh, when the time comes, I'll have uh, water at uh, 170 for the sparge process. All right, guys, it's about uh, 52 minutes. Uh, eight more minutes left for the mash process. Uh, the hot liquor tank is also heating up water. It's about uh, 148 right now. Um, the rims is uh, 152 target and uh, 150 is the uh, current temperature. Okay, it's constantly doing its thing to maintain the temperature at 152. Okay, so let me show you this also right here. That's the rims. It's putting water, uh, actually water, heating it up, putting it back into this uh, mash tank. Okay. So in about 10 minutes, I'll come back and show you. Okay guys, it's about uh, one hour uh, of the mash process. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to set the mash temperature, uh, increase the mash temperature to 170 because I've done uh, one hour of sacrification rest and uh, I have to do another 10 minutes of uh, mash out at uh, 170. So I'm going to increase it to 170 and count for 10 minutes and then I can start uh, transferring the entire water into the boiler. Okay, so let me uh, set it to 170. So let me change the mode to the rims module and then uh, set the temperature to 170. 162, 167, and a few more. Oops. 168, 169, 170. Okay, so I'm gonna let that go for. Uh, you know like few more uh, minutes like uh, like 15 minutes so it will uh, increase the temperature to 170 from there I'm gonna count uh, 10 minutes and then I can start transferring everything into the boiler okay I'll do that. okay guys uh, it's about uh, 10 minutes I started the mash out process so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna shut down the rinse module right now and then uh, I'm gonna switch off the pump okay and then uh, I'm going to connect the, the pipe back into the boiler. I'm going to start transferring all the sugars back into this boiler now. Okay.
can see the the watt is getting transferred with the boiler. Uh, I'm going to collect the watt about uh, till I reach there. That's about six and a half gallons. This is an eight gallon boiler. I mean, as uh, brew kettle. So it's going to take a little bit. Let's see in here. Oops. Got a lot of steam. I'm actually slowly draining all the water through the drain bed and then uh, it's going back into the, to the boil. Okay. 